I can't believe that this smoke situation is actually a controversy that's happening right now in the Valorant community, but here we are. My name's Grant Hines and this is Valorant Unlocked. This is a channel where we break down, get into, and just have fun with Valorant. So there's this new update in Valorant that's coming out, 7.08, that's going to change how smokes work in games. So Valor Leaks on Twitter, I'm gonna call it Twitter, not X, so please don't judge me, stupid name, drop this news, and this is how it's going to go down. The smoke changes will affect agents like Brimstone, Astra, and Omen by reflecting on smoke duration and timing. So during the last 1.5 seconds of a smoke's duration, there's gonna be an audio cue along with a sparkly visual effect in the smoke cloud to indicate that the, the smoke is about to like disappear. This change is aimed at helping new players or those who avoid in-game communication adjust to friendly or enemy smokes. I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts about this, but pro players are not happy. By the way, um, I'm gonna be in the comments of this video and chatting to you, so please leave your thoughts down there. And don't forget to check out the Valorant ZA Discord if you're a South African Valorant player. So let me help you understand why this is considered a move to make the game a cater to more people that are more casual and what challenges it's removing. If you're a pro player or if you're a high ranking player, one of the most important parts of, so if you see a smoke that's deployed, if you have OBS on it is to call out how long it's going to last for. So you are in constant communication with your team and letting your other teammates know that the smoke is going to, it's, it's about to uh, disperse or disappear because either you've been counting. It's similar to like knowing how many rounds of bullets are in your gun just by counting them as you, as you, as you fire if you're playing like a hardcore mode in, in Call of Duty. Because of this, it adds another layer of skill that wasn't there initially or that uh, some people would have to, if you're a pro player, would have to have gotten used to. So pro players aren't happy about this. They're saying that it's like a cheat code to people that are just starting out and it lowers the skill gap between pro and new players. E.G. Bustio <laughs> did this tweet that just said, bad change to be honest, people need to learn the game to this level at least. Also, Zygamantis also tweeted that these changes would lower the skill gap even more for people that play just a few games a month. And jo Josh retweets also just dropped a tweet saying that reminded to everyone that Riot is just following Following the usual MO of lowering the skill floor to make playing at lower ranks more enjoyable and easier. You still need to call out smoke timings at the pro level, but it's less punishing now. So I've got some really strong opinions about this and I've seen this actually in other games as well, namely in games like Dota. I call this like legacy uh, game development, something, you know, a lot of things have been uh, designed in games that aren't necessarily great game mechanics and things like last hitting and those become a game mechanic so for those of you who don't know how dota works when there is creep you get xp for destroying the creep those little npcs that kind of just like rush towards your tower and if you are the last person to kill your hit is the last person to kill that particular creep you get that xp and you get some cash out of it it's called last hitting but it's this weird it's this weird thing that was like it kind of came over from War 3, the mod that it was based on, and it's just like this game mechanic that wasn't intentional, but became something that players had to master. And then when League of Legends came out, they kind of did away with that because in the in the game developers' minds, that isn't a great game mechanic. There's a lot of debate about that, but I understand why you would exclude that game mechanic from a new game that you're building because it's just legacy architecture that became a game mechanic and something that you had to master by virtue of it being there. And I feel very similar similarly about about this. I think smoke timings, I don't think that that was a consideration that the, that the developers had. And adding visual cues is just a quality of life thing. You know, there are so many other skills that you need to master in order to be good at Valorant, aiming, recoil. Like those aren't things that make the game easy. And also like there's this there's this tweet by Jaywoo that I just want to bring up that one of the most unnecessary changes that I've seen to lower the skill ceiling of a game to cater to casuals in my opinion. And I kind of understand I have a very similar opinion to this that I don't think it's necessarily something that's going to lower the skill ceiling for casual players. It's making the game more polished. You know, that isn't a skill that needs to be mastered, if that makes sense. Like a real life equivalent for me would be if you had to play, I don't know, uh, football on, you know, like rocky asphalt. Like you don't, 
if you put if you make the field grass right that that is that is a, a quality of life thing for the players like rather let them master that there are so many other things that are going to you're going to have to master even though that you've got this this thing that makes a random thing like a little bit easier to understand and in game design it's it's visual literacy it's you know knowing how many like how much health your opponent has or audio cues of your gun when your when your cartridge is running out and i actually want to come back to that because the degree of this thinking is that all the visual cues the mini map the number of bullets that are displayed in your cartridge in the bottom right hand side of the screen like all of those things can also be removed right they can also and then you can also count your bullets in your cartridge and that will increase the skill ceiling i guess you know players who can do this random skill uh, in game or have mastered this random thing can be better at it but it doesn't make the game better right you want to push this players to to perform better and do things better and also have more fun playing the game and i think that the pro scene has just missed that missed that thinking you know i understand that they have gotten used to a certain way of playing the game but that isn't how this game is going to be forever and video games now are evolving it's it's games as a service now right so that one thing isn't gonna define the game as it goes forward look at overwatch you know overwatch 2 comes out or well, actually during overwatch 1 you they knocked it down from six players to uh, to five players got rid of one of the tanks so there's only a single tank and uh, although i do miss that i grew up on the 2016 Overwatch, which was like two, two v two v two, right? You know, two tanks. I, there's still value in in and in, in the information that Riot have or the game developers that have to make these tweaks. You know, so you can't cater a game exclusively to pro players, uh, and that's basically what I'm saying. And these retrofitted legacy game mechanics that are kind of unpolished like the last hitting of Dota, can be ironed out to make Valorant a more fun, better game with new skills to continually master from the beginners that enter at Stone League all the way through to the pro players that are competing in the tournaments. Yeah. What do you think? Is this something that you, you know, do you feel strongly about it? Do you think this outrage is really stupid like myself? And do you see that? And do you agree with me? that these games are continually being polished and finished. And the game that we are playing today, the Valorant that we are playing now, is not going to be the Valorant that we're going to be playing in a year's time. And arguably, hopefully, will be getting refined and getting better. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe. Please share this with a friend who's, you know, going to benefit from hearing this. If you're in a, a, an argument yourself with everybody, I'll, I'll check you guys another video. Cheers. One enemy remains.